Hey guys. All right, folks, we're here today to check out the Patreon poll winner of the week, Angelos Apatrida with Cold. Nuestros Hermanos from Spain coming out with a new track. They have a new album coming out as well. This is the first single, I believe, from that upcoming new record. And I don't think it's going to be cold. I think this is going to be firing hot. Muy caliente. Muy caliente. Oh, yes. Bueno. All right. Muy bueno. <laughs> Muy bueno, muchachos. All right. So you, you ready for this? Yeah. Uh, gringo ready for this? I'm not gringo. I'm from Portugal. You're not. You're born that's here. True. That's true. But You're... if someone looked at us and... Yeah, they would think I'm the gringo. Yeah. All right. But I'm not. Anyhow. Ready? Yeah.
I must say, um, when I saw the glory hole pop up on the wall and see her putting her eye on the glory hole, I was like, that's how you get pink eye. Kids, I thought you should say that's how you lose an eye. Kids, kids, do not look into the glory hole. <sighs> Shit can go sideways extremely quickly. Pink eye, like you, you could get a, the, you know, dislocated retina, you know, like all sorts of shit can happen. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Tread carefully. Okay. You don't want the glory hitting you in the face. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, speaking of glory, the song. The song's fucking great, especially that chorus. So that chorus is so good. I was not expecting that chorus. Me like, neither. Like, like if you showed the, me this song, if show me the chorus and you show me the if you show the me the verses, verses, I'll be like, oh, two the different songs. A hundred percent. And also two different bands. A hundred percent. Not even the same band. It's not like, even the same band. Not even from the same country. <laughs> not even the same label. Exactly. Like, uh, two different universes, yet come together so well. Those clean vocals in the chorus are fucking amazing. Dude. <laughs> I love it. I know it, 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 it feels it, it so like, out of place for like a having, song, but it works so well at the same like having, time, I'm not going to hate it. It felt like having metalcore verses in a power metal chorus. Like, <laughs> like, like that, that's, the same, that's the same thing as this is like, you know, I thrash. I think the other way around. No, this is like thrash versus and like I don't even know what the rock call, like I guess a rock ish chorus, yeah. I don't even know what to call those choruses, but they're fucking hooky. That's oh, what they so are. So hooky, so hooky. And I love it. Like I cannot sit here and say, "Oh, this is this is." I'm outraged at the fact that these guys would throw a chorus like that in a song that sounds like Dude, this. Dude, this sounds amazing. You know what I mean? Like it's, a, it's such a good combo. It's a combo no one thought they needed. What, what, what's next? Testament verses with Bon Jovi choruses. Like, I, I'm listen, I, I know this may sound a little bit like... It, it, like, it caught me off guard. But it, it's not like it took me a long time to oh, really get it. Dude, no, it I got it into it immediately. It was like seconds. Immediately. Because after hearing that chorus, you're like, holy shit. I didn't, need, I didn't know I needed these two worlds to merge until now. Like, I, I didn't know that this is what you can easily... It wasn't even like a chopped transition. It was a very... F liquid transition into that chorus. Oh, that chorus had a little bit of a kill switch engage vibe. Yeah, so it's it's like new rock, like new uh, uh, I'd say octane sounding chorus, like metalcore chorus. Yeah, uh, I was well say because octane. kill switch engage metalcore. That's so a metalcore chorus with thrash verses. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's fucking good. Is what it's it is. Crazy good. <laughs> it's crazy fucking good. crazy good. Is what it is. Oh, fuck. Make more shit like this. Fuck. I I, I gotta say this. Listening to this song, outside of the chorus, okay, outside of the chorus, but listen, listening to this song, the sound of these guys, th this, this is how I got into metal, was listening to bands uh, back in the late 80s, early 90s that sounded like this. I, I love that distortion, that thickness of the guitars, all of that shit. Like, the reason I'm, I'm, the reason I'm here, sitting here today, talking about music, metal, and whatever, is because... They all have matching shoes, by the way. Huh? They all have matching shoes. 
Oh, fuck. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> On the same stance, too. I love the stands, though. The, yeah, I mean... Great. Anyhow... Power stance, right there. Th going back to my point. Uh, th the reason I got into metal was because bands sounded like this. Like, honestly, if I go back to my youth discovering thrash with bands like Exodus, Creator, uh, you know... Uh, Death Angel, the list goes on and on. Metallica at that time, not the Metallica of now, the Metallica of then. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, Megadeth, uh, uh, Anthrax, all, all of those bands. Overkill. Like th that's the reason I got Sepultura. That, that's the reason why I got into into metal was that thrash metal sound, those thick, chunky distortion on the guitars that sounds so good that I love. I love that sound. I, 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 that's what hooked me. So listening to this was like a blast from the past. But then you bring those chords, which is a complete infusion of the of the present. And I'm like, what the fuck? But it took me zero seconds to go from what the fuck to I love it. Zero seconds. I was faster than fucking Toretto. Dominic Toretto? Yeah. Is there yeah. any other Toretto? Sorry. Like, was... you know another one? No, no, no. Fuck. It's like there's like a fucking a thousand Torettos out there. There definitely is. No, there's only one. Winning by an inch or winning by a mile, winning is winning. Whatever, I'm paraphrasing. It's family. It's family. All right. Bandolero. What the fuck? Oh, it's part of, this, part of the whole family thing. And then the yeah. Bandolero by uh, Don Omar. Oh. Anyhow. And that song plays. I haven't watched any of the latest uh, ones on the... There's no point. On the Fast and the, and the Furious. Once, uh... It's the Fat and the Furious. Oh, I think we can still be the Fat and the Furious. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. Yeah, we swing both ways. When it comes to that, not anything else. A anyhow, uh, fucking, the, the video, the video also matched the energy of the song. I mean, everything about this was good. Yeah. The video was good, the song was fucking good, and that chorus is magnificent. Yeah. That chorus is magnificent. Magnificent. I didn't think I would uh, need something like this, but here we are. Here we are, yeah. Here we are. And his, like, the fact that he has that, that in, in his range that he can... What, for the chorus? Yeah. Yeah, it's really impressive. It's very impressive, yeah. Because it's not just, like, clean vocals that you just kind he's of... He's hitting, he's, he's, he's creeping up. No, and there's a little bit of emotion in them. Like, yeah. Like, it's, they have... They have a lifting... They have warmth. Yeah, they have it. a warm lifting feeling. Yeah, it was really, really fucking good. And I love that the song is not... Um, cause it's almost six minutes but and I, I love, feel like it cause of how, because it moves all over the place. Yeah. How many changes? It has, it has a lot of different momentums in the song. It's not like your prototypical, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, solo, chorus, song is over. No, it has a lot of different momentums. And I think the momentums is really what keeps the listener engaged. It's a great song. It, it doesn't overstay its welcome, but the fact that it, it's very dynamic in its construction, it, it makes it even better. But fuck, the chorus, the chorus. All it comes back down to that same point. The Dude, chorus. a chorus will make or break a song. And then this... That's the whole point of the chorus. Unless the song doesn't have a chorus, then it's not the point of the song. Uh, but a song that does have a chorus, it's the point is, is to, to for the chorus to be memorable. That's kind of like the yeah, whole There are point. some songs where the choruses are not very memorable. But there's, not a riff the the, this one. but there's a riff in the verses that makes it memorable. That's true, too. That's true, too. That's true, too. But this one, the chorus is definitely... Not just because of the clean vocals. The, the guitar melody in the chorus is really good, too. Yeah, yeah. It's really good, so... Uh, fucking great. Just the whole chorus feeling is, is... Dude, I was not expecting this. Me neither, but I, I loved it. I was expecting, like, balls to the wall, thrash, well, I was doing whatever. the verses, I thought I was going to get that in the chorus. Yeah, yeah. I thought the chorus actually was going to scream a little bit. Go, like, more... Yeah, yeah. Like, almost like Annihilator kind of style. Like, a little bit... A little bit more out there, so that was fucking insane. Anyhow, I'm, I'm blown away. This is a fucking great track. That's all I got to say. So, uh, new album coming out. I wonder if there's going to be more of choruses like these. Hopefully. You like this, I right? like this. This is good, yeah. This thrash, you can you can. This thrash... With. No, I can live with thrash in general, but, I mean, this thrash hits more of my spot, so it gives me that thrash kick that I like while also getting some of the stuff that I like uh, that's not thrash in it. Like some more melodic shit. Yep. All right, on that note, guys, thank you, everybody, that voted on Patreon for this video to finish numero uno with nuestros hermanos. Orale. So, uh, I can't say orale, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I still Latino. Latino heat. So, anyhow, uh, we'll see you all at the next video. See ya.